not only is it a Monday morning, and for me it is really, really Monday today, but we did not have the best news this weekend. So here at New Day, we're gonna do our best to brighten up your day. And so of course, we're gonna start with Hot Topics. And today's panel, we have radio host Nina Hajan from The Jubal Show and our executive producer, Joseph. Good morning hello, to all hello, of you. Good hello. How long have you been up this morning? Um, I woke up at 4 a.m. Oh, so well, do the math. Early. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I even took a shower. Oh. Wow! Stop. Stop. My for goodness. you. For you. We feel honored. Love it. We feel honored. So you're this morning talking about the news of the weekend yeah. and all the yeah. things. It was a rough, rough weekend. Rough. From yeah. celebrity deaths to political news, mm -hmm. just a lot of bad news. So that's got us all asking. Now we're not going to recap it all. You heard yeah. it all. But how do you cope with all this bad news? Well, I mean, it's tough. You don't want to just stick your head in the sand and not listen to anything, right? So I'm trying to, you know, listen the best I can, but also maintain my mental health. Yeah. So I did a lot of walking outside this weekend, exercising, mm. seeing my friends. I saw my friends every day this weekend. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, what, what about you? I mean, I mean, it sparked a lot of conversation, I think, about just like life and being mm -hmm. human yes. and, yeah. um, you know, how you're living, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, especially with all of the changes that are coming. Yeah. So I found myself having a lot of conversations. I still am. I mean, today, this is mm -hmm. what everybody is talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not even so much how you feel. It's just like, how are you going to move? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. To me, it's how are you listening? Mm -hmm. Because I That's think fair. a lot of folks are not getting, feel like they don't feel like they're being listened to. Sure. How are you listening to others? How are you listening to yourself? How are you listening to your body? Mm. And I think that's, I think that was kind of like my thing I'll mm. share with you yes. today. That was like my lesson this weekend while I was struggling. I was like, maybe instead of feeling despair, I'm just gonna turn this into action and try to listen more. Yeah. I like that. Thank it's you. A, it's a lot to process. I mean, we, you know, have our group chat for work yeah. and it was just like bad news after bad news like, after bad boom, news boom, coming boom. in. I'm just like, what is going on? But yeah, Shelly Duvall really hit me I know, hard. That one I, I don't know about y'all, but I loved fairy tale theater. I mean, I loved a lot of Shelly Duvall, like Popeye, but fairy tale theater was like a special. That was show. your jam. Mm. No, I get you. Shannon Doherty hit me really hard oh. because 90210 was my life. Oh my gosh. And so everybody talking about Brenda and yeah. she's with Dylan. And Dylan and oh. Heaven. They're at the peach pit in the sky no. with their milkshakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's intense, but that's a lot of reflection and again, yeah. conversation and listening. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. that's exactly what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, you know what? You know what always makes me feel better? What? Food. Yes. Food, food, food. And yes. okay, so this is really cool. So Burger King recently launched a new fiery menu like with five like hot it. items. So first is the strawberry and Sprite spice level one. Oh, that's good. Well, if you like like a spicy mm. margarita, that was what I was mm. thinking about when I saw the yeah. flavor. Mm -hmm. I like this a it lot. It gives you a little kick. I like this a lot. That's that is, good. That it is, is good. spicy, though. It, it does is spicy. Get in the back of the throat. Okay. I'm interested in this. How do they so do that? we've got fire mozzarella fries. Let's mm. get in there. Okay. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy, but good spicy. I like I everything eat a spicy. Whole box of those. Mm -hmm. Easily. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So then we got uh, fiery bacon royale <laughs> with cheese. <laughs> Actually, it's a chicken royale. Up. Bacon royale crispy chicken. Who wants to try this one? The crispy chicken has to be yeah. spicy. That's you, that's you. Oh, <clears throat> I'm feeling it. I'm yeah, gonna throw it now. You know, I have to say, you know that show on YouTube where they eat the hot chicken wings? Yeah. I feel like that is really inspiring a whole spicy Woo, food But moment. can you do Maybe it? Maybe it is. You Maybe can't do it. Mm -hmm. I can't do it, I can't do spicy. I just wanted to be on that show. Did you want to be hot ones? I just want to like sit there and do all of the hot levels just to see how far I can go because I can do spicy really, really well. I bet you could do it. I don't know. I'm kind of scared of this one. This is supposed to be the highest. Hop spice in, level. hop in. I guess that's the highest. By the oh, way, wow. not to not to call my parents out, but they're both dead, so it's oh. it's fine. I'm not going to hear. Well, they're going to hear this. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. They're listening but from they, above. when I was a kid, I had a bit of a biting problem apparently, and Doctor Spock, I think it was. Sure. They, that sounds right for you. Yes, <laughs> I know. The suggestion was that you put Tabasco sauce on the child's tongue every time they bit. Oh. It's like inversion training, like I'm a dog. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it build your tongue? No, I never, I, I didn't stop biting. I mean, I have stopped now. Thank you. So sure. don't, you all are fine. <laughs> but um, I also don't like spicy food. I didn't mm. for many years, so. Oh. You have the bad memories with it. Well, yes. I kind of thought it might like do the opposite and this just is... boost your tolerance to it. Mm. I wish. You know, no. like you can't handle yeah, it. No, I mean, no, I can handle that. I have a hot take that you know that I think the Whopper is my favorite fast food burger. <laughs> mm. This is this is doing it for me. I really like this. Okay, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. So is this. Which one did I get? I think Bacon I got the Whopper. Bacon cheese, my mm. lady. Mm. Yes, I did. This is going to be my lunch later after Want to buy it? Oh, I already got one. I got the same one. Mm. 
Oh, these yeah. are delicious. Okay. So good. Mm, well, those thanks are really to Burger good. King for sending this stuff. Yeah, we got chicken and then burgers too. I don't think we got into the burgers, but very good. Um, all right, on the burger thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An, a study in the National Nutritional Metabolism <laughs> suggests that two burgers instead of one burger with fries might be healthier. So if you ate two burgers, it might be healthier than a burger with fries because it's a better balance of essential ingredients. I think it's funny that we're talking about healthier when you're talking about burgers, burgers. and fries anyway. Like if you're gonna do it, don't you just wanna eat what makes you happy? Yeah. And that like, is interesting because yeah. I was just telling Amity, the French fry is like my favorite food oh, of all yeah. time. Yeah. But I love a hamburger and actually eating two burgers sounds more appealing than the burger and fries to me. I don't understand it. Oh no, don't take my fries yeah. away. But I like fries by themselves, I think, is my. I love, I mean, I love, my, my best friends and I joke that like if everyone's having a bad day, we're like, hey, meet me for a Diet Coke and French fries. <laughs> yeah. Like that is good stuff right good there. Friends. Maybe a Caesar salad thrown in there too. Always. I don't know why, it's so good. Always. But it mm. is, but I don't know. I mean, I'll eat two burgers any day. You love a burger. I love a burger. I feel like it's the perfect food, really. It's got all the ingredients. It's got all the nutrients. Well, the doctors like agree with you. Yeah, I know, right? I have two well. burgers and fries. Okay, oh, there you there go. There you go. Even better. Um, all right, let's talk about NASA now. They are saying it has Ooh. no plan. They have no plans to use SpaceX to rescue two stranded astronauts. Issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft have left Sunny, Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore stuck on the space station. Now, concerns raised by Boeing and NASA over thruster problems and then several helium leaks have prevented the craft from making their return journey home. Ooh. I don't like a helium leak. No. no. Certainly not want a thruster problem. When you're trying to get it right there back into the re-entry of the atmosphere, you gotta hit it just right or you're yeah, gonna yeah. land, I don't even know, where you're not supposed mm. to, right? Right. I just think that, Scary. I don't think that the astronauts are mad. You know what I mean? If you train your entire life and all you ever want to do is go to space, if you're stuck on the International Space Station just for a little bit longer, I don't think they're mad. Yeah. Because as you like look at the story, they're supposed to like switch crews, I mm -hmm. guess, later in August. Mm -hmm. So they're not saving them. They're just, you know, doing a little switcheroo. Yep. So it's like. I agree with that. Well, and I was reading someone writing on the internet saying that they're not really stuck in the sense that they're staying there on purpose to you know, figure out what's wrong with the thing before they go mm -hmm. back down. So it's like they're choosing to stay there on yeah. purpose for science or whatever, but I just would never want to go to space. I love Star Trek, but oh my <laughs> gosh, that would freak, if I was on that space station, I would be freaking you out right now. Oh yeah, my I, I kind of yeah. with you, like if you can't get outside, it's like scuba oh. diving for me, I don't love. Yeah. Um, but I will say it is interesting, like you don't want an Apollo 13 situation where you're no. using like a slide no. rule and like a protractor no, to no, figure no. out how to get home. But I will say NASA's always been prepared. Like for the first time a woman went to space, uh -huh. they sent her with a hundred tampons <laughs> for like a two day trip because <laughs> Things happen. Yeah. Hey, man, you know what? They tried and they made sure that she was prepared. You can do a lot of things with tampons. If you're not using it for that, they can be used for other well, things. Well, listen, I'm just saying maybe they over prepare at NASA, clearly. So I think there's probably enough like gel foods and all the other <clears throat> things they need. I'm to just sustain saying. them. <laughs> there's, have you seen the movie Space Cadet? It's on Prime right now. No? no? Do I need to? <laughs> yes, it's so cute, but it's all about this like space mission where they're like saving the people that are stuck oh. just like this. Oh. But they use like um one of those little clamps from bejeweling clothes mm. to save them, so it is kind of like, it. yeah, yeah. Stop it, I am watching so, this tonight, <laughs> Nina. Crafty. That's the first thing I thought of, poor, I mean, when we talked about the astronauts, mm. I was like, get life, the bejeweler real out. life, get yeah. the bejeweler out and get them down. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, well, talking about technology, uh, Kim K recently got a beauty treatment mm. It is called a, I, I can't say, what did you say this morning on TV? So, or we were talking about it on the radio and we called it a mm. salmon swimmers facial. Yes. So, salmon swimmers, or milt, I think is sperm what they also facial. call it. Thank you for saying it. You can say that's, it. That's it. Saying it. <laughs> salmon sperm is injected into the face mm -hmm. for this. Have we gone too far? I've heard of the vampire facial. Yeah, I've which had is, that. I think, yes, we have, have gone you? so far. Oh, yeah. That's when it's like PRP, which is when platelet rich plasma. So they uh, micro needle your face, they take your blood, and they spin it through a little thing, and they call it like liquid gold. Mm. And then they just put that all over your own blood, all over your face, pop that, that collagen, you know, all the stuff. Yeah, look I'm how, into it. Look how good she looks. Well, you look fabulous. And she's so, 72. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> she weren't supposed to tell people I'm that. I'm sorry, Nina. <laughs> I know, I was thinking that like, that sounds really gross, that treatment, but if you think about the opposite, like we eat caviar, that's like, Fish eggs, it's like, I don't know. There was the bird poop facial too. That oh. was a few years ago. Oh. Was that yes. popular with Italians? That, My grandma would love that. I don't know, but maybe that's where it came from. It was no. big in New York. I don't. But this whole salmon swimmers facial thing has been like big since 1980. And oh. Jennifer Aniston did it before Kim oh. K. Oh, of course she did. I know, I'm all into it because I investigated it. It's $500 <gasps> if you want to do it. That's it? 
I was like, I'm actually surprised. You because should try and report back. I I know. All right, I, I would actually. I'm just gonna I stick. Honestly, I'm gonna try. stick with your uh, your oil that you, your Tubazi oil oh, that you thank created. You. Mm. She made this oil. It's amazing. I did. Skin's kind of my jam, so Sorry. I'm interested. Obviously, you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm 72. <laughs> So, you know, July, which Disney is the month. official start of summer, yeah. yeah, and it was, boy, it was this year. Hot. Um, it's super busy. Yeah. Um, day in, day out festival that just was, happened. I went over the weekend. It was super fun. Capitol Hill Block Party is coming next up. next weekend, and that one's going to be bonkers. That one is going to be so I, Have you been? Oh, bananas. You know what's funny? I oh. just moved home, and I haven't been, but Chapel Roan's going to be there, and <gasps> that I'm is going on what Friday. is going to make the entire thing so insane. I fear for my life. It's going to be so crowded. This was Carly Rae on Friday at Day In, Day Out. Super uh, fun venue. Can I just say, sometimes I get a little intimidated to go to festivals. Yeah. This one was really well managed. There was lots okay. of space. It wasn't... Mm -hmm too crowded. It was a lovely, lovely evening at Seattle Center. That's so fun. It was yes. a perfect night for yes. it. Yes. Great weather. She that sounded is amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I was very happy. I get nervous for a festival sometimes. Well, you people. No. <laughs> <laughs> you had me and I get nervous. I do too. Yeah. I don't like it. It's a lot of people. Yeah. I never really liked concerts growing up. So I am mm. weird about a festival too. So yeah. the fact that you, you, you said it, me, yeah. yeah, that's uh, but good. But for Chapel, I'm nervous because I love her and so does everyone else and their mom in this country right now and <laughs> yes. they're all going to be there. So. Well, there was footage of her. She did a show somewhere on the East Coast and there were people on the overpass that yep. weren't even at the show yep. just trying to get a peek of her. Mm -hmm. So as we prepare for the block party, I don't know where these people are going to go, but I feel like security has to know Ooh, that this is going to be next level. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting. it's exciting to Very watch exciting. her yeah. um, climb and, mm -hmm. and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. It is exciting to watch. I didn't. I read an article about her recently, yeah. mm -hmm. and I go, Joseph, I just heard this Chapel Rowan <laughs> artist, and it's fabulous. I felt like he's like, she yes, is welcome. Fab, though. She I, is. I love her music. If you haven't heard her music, go, go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I hope she does well. Success is on her way. Mm -hmm. Speaking of success, um, one of the things about the mark of success has always been a fabulous handbag. Mm. Louis Dior, oh. mm. Armani, yeah. whatever mm. you're going to do. But Wall Street Journal recently reported that factories in Milan that manufacture handbags and leather goods for Dior and Armani mm. have been found to exploit foreign labor, using them to produce high-end products at a fraction of the retail price. So Dior... Get this, they pay about 57 American dollars to make each handbag, then they turn around and sell them to you at more than $2,000 per bag in their stores. Mm, none of this surprises me. Right. Like, I feel like we knew that, but nobody was telling us point blank that that was happening. Um, you want to believe that something special, like some magician in there stitching, so that's why you spend thousands of dollars on mm -hmm. these bags. Um, it's pretty bad, but if this gets louder with cancel culture and, you know, mm -hmm. mob mentality, they might be a little bit screwed. Yeah. They're a lot. Okay, so tell me about your bag yes, feelings, because so I know you have bag feelings. I have a duffel bag. I won't say which brand it's from, but it does keep all my things, if you know what I'm saying, if you know, you know. And uh, <laughs> it is a nice bag, and when I actually kind of looked at what I bought, it's like, it's made of plastic. It's vinyl. Okay. It's, it's technically, they call it, uh, just say what canvas, it is. right? It's printed yes. canvas is what they say, but it is vinyl. That is what vinyl is, is printed canvas. Yes. Okay. I will say this, what really bothers me is, okay, so I worked at Coach in college. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And I had a couple of jobs at Coach when I had jobs. And back then, it was a different company then, mm -hmm. we had to watch videos, and this stuff was handcrafted in America, and mm -hmm. it was made by hand. So I actually am the idiot that thought that all these companies was still making this stuff by hand. Like, I'm thinking in Italy, somebody's in there making like, my... Bespoke for you. My bespoke bag. <laughs> and then in France, they're like, oh, yes, I'm making the Louis Vuitton. Yeah. I did not realize it was $57, and I will say... It's interesting. It's completely changed the way I look at, at a handbag now. It's so crazy. And then it makes me realize that, like, Portland Leather Goods... That's a great company just down the way, and they make really cool products. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to spend my $150 on that. Yeah. yeah. And that'll last me the rest of my life. Yeah. Sustainability. Better. Yeah. Ooh. Say Sorry. it louder. Woo. You got feelings on that. I just want to know if it's always been that way, or if this is like and the I, fast I can tell fashion, you, yeah. like they're I making can, it that way now. From my experience, again, when I worked at Coach, yeah. It wasn't. It was yeah. where it's handmade. So if you have vintage bags, mm. keep hold of them because yeah. that's what's going to be costing some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the resales, yeah. yeah. All right. What else are we going to talk about? I got lost. Oh, Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay. Yeah. Seattle Times is reporting that Seattle's Saks Off Fifth is closing its downtown location on July 20th. I was sad to hear this. Now, this is the one in Pacific Place. 
Uh, it's like right, right around in there, yeah. Yeah, You can okay. see like if you're going to the light rail at Westlake, you can see it there. Yes, I think that's the one on the third floor of Pacific Place. I feel terrible to say this, but I haven't shopped inside of Pacific Place in a very long time. I used to love it. I used to go all the time, and yeah. it's not because it's not great. It's just not convenient for mm. me to walk into stores <laughs> when you can buy everything on online. the in, yeah online yeah. in the mm -hmm. comfort of your pajamas. I mean, my last thing there was like a Lululemon to get some like athletic clothes. That just closed too. I know. I that's know. Sad. It's, it is sad though. Like I hate that I say that because I'm not happy about the stores closing because right. you want to at least have the option yeah. and it does feel good to touch. They still have Dintai It's still there. That's well, I will say, and and I love like so Pacific Place is my closest in my mold. And so it's really been a bummer that so many of the things have closed down there, like Victoria's Secret closed down mm. and like all the things. And so it is a bummer. I'd like to see it come back. Yeah. But I do prefer to shop in person because I just make all kinds of bad decisions when I shop online at like <laughs> 6 a.m. Like I couldn't sleep last night. So I was like, Shopping. I don't know. I The things I have in my Amazon cart right now. Yeah. Well, like, do I need a silver sparkle? Sh no. Well, tomorrow's prime day. Yeah. It starts, so maybe you do. Maybe you do. <laughs> we'll see what happens with those prices. It's tough when you can't try things on, though. Like that's yeah. the benefit of having a store. Like if you're buying the same thing over and over again, sure, buy it online because you know what fits you. But if you're buying like shoes from a new brand, or yeah, you can't. You can't know. And you don't want to just buy the same thing over and over and over again, right? No, but it's not even just that. I just think it's downtown Seattle too. Like mm -hmm. Bellevue oh. Square is still doing its <coughs> thing. Yeah, they are doing quite well. And I'm an East Sider, so you know Bellevue Square. Bellevue Square would be my yeah. go-to. Yeah. yeah, that's a good model. I mean, I, yeah. I will say I have had a couple of different friends in town, and they also I told them to stay like, hey, stay downtown, stay at the belt, like all the like kind of cool, cool downtown. I was walking with them, and you walk down third, and I mean, it's it different. Can be, it can it's be scary. scary. Yeah. It is scary for people who are from out of town. I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's fine. You know, my <laughs> yeah. friend's husband is a firefighter, and there were two, three times we were walking down, going, that person needs medical aid. That person oh. needs medical aid. That so breaks my heart. It is hard. It is scary. Um, so I get it. Downtown's a little rough right now. Yes, but we're a community. We gotta support each other. We gotta yes. come together. Push it forward. Yes. All right. Well, thank you both thank for you. being here. Yeah. Thank you for thank chatting you so with much us. For having me. Thank, thank, you, thank you for you. giving us yummy food. Yeah, of course. And thank love you, guys. you. We love you. Love you guys. <laughs> and we love you too. Thank yeah. you for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email to share your thoughts. But most important, don't forget to enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time. <laughs>